Hi, this is Sandeep from UKB Hi. Electronics, Noida. Hi, this is Anand Patel from Ivy Labs, uh, Freud Limited from India. Uh, hi, this is Timir Shah from Ishan Innovations Private Limited, uh, India, Mumbai. Kapil from Dimension Next, India. So if you are you're there, please, can you switch on your video, please? Hello, my name is Sandeep from Accurate Singapore. Uh, this is Ramesh from uh, Ironetic India. Uh, yeah, I yeah. so uh, uh, can we start uh, the session probably now? Uh, we have our chairman and uh, chairman elect both have uh, joined, and I can see uh, you know we have a sufficient number of uh, participants both from India and Singapore. So, if uh, um, I think Mr. Kishore, the Zaryani, and uh, other dignities are there, so we can start, Pooja. Yes, you can start. Mr. Uh, Mr. Kishore, can I please uh, request you to switch on your video, please? I can't, I can't. I can't oh. um, okay. Um, maybe we can just start then. Okay. Uh, okay. Yes, can we request everyone to put uh, themselves on the mute? Uh, and, you know, they can, they are, they have the privileges to unmute themselves as and when uh, their name is uh, called and uh, the, it's their uh, slot to speak on the uh, dais. So, uh, let me start uh, uh, with the opening remarks. Uh, uh, good afternoon and a very uh, happy new year to you all. Uh, I feel privileged uh, to welcome you all uh, to today's uh, B2B meet. Uh, that is part of our ongoing initiative to establish new relationships, partnerships between Indian and global companies dealing in electronic products and devices. We are indeed uh, thrilled to have the chance to associate with the electronics industry of Singapore and honestly uh, look forward to conclude some exciting business deals today. We are fortunate to have been joined in today's initiative by Singapore India Chamber of Commerce and Industry, uh, Mr. Kishore Dariani, Vice Chairman of the Chamber, is present with us today and I would like to extend a hearty welcome to him on behalf of the Council. A uh, very warm welcome to you, Mr. Dariani. Uh, while thanking you for making it possible to be with us today, let me mention that we are keen to hear from you how our two economies may enhance our bilateral cooperation. Before I invite I Chairman uh, Mr. Sandeep Narula, uh, Chairman Electronics and Computer Software Export Promotion Council, to formally welcome all the guests, I would like to place on record our sincere thanks to Mr. Daryani and the entire team. Uh, I think you are all aware about Pooja also. 
and uh, all the other team uh, who's working on the back uh, top uh, of the Singapore India Chamber for valuable support extended by them in organizing today's event. Their valuable support has made it possible to hold today's meet. Uh, let me also take this opportunity to mention uh, about our forthcoming mega events, India Soft 2022, India IoT World, and India Electronics Expo, Expo Indie as we call it, uh, that will be held in the month of March 2022. So we are hoping that uh, things will get better by uh, the date show dates, which are in the March uh, 23rd to 25th. So uh, while India Soft is Council's flagship uh, show aimed at showcasing India's ICT prowess, India IoT World will bring to the foray developments in use of embedded technologies to make life easier and for simplifying industrial processes. India Electronics Expo is a show for the electronics industry and I extend a very warm welcome to all of you to visit and participate all three shows concurrent that will be held here in New Delhi. And uh, as a part of uh, our uh, partnership uh, with Singapore, the government of India extend a special uh, gesture by offering complimentary air tickets for the Singapore buyers who want to, uh, you know, visit the event and make uh, partnerships with the Indian companies by visiting the show physically. So their uh, uh, airfare and uh, in some cases, uh, even the hotel stay will be taken care by the ESC, the organizers here. With these words, I once again extend my warm greetings to all of you and wish all the delegates who have joined today's session very useful and productive meetings that would result in establishing new partnerships. Uh, we have with us uh, our Vice Chairman elect, Mr. Veer Sagar also, and uh, a very warm welcome to you, sir, and uh, thank you so much for, uh, for today's session. Uh, I would now request our Sorry. Chairman, Mr. Sandeep Narula, to formally welcome all the guests and delegates. Thank you so much once again for your time of joining today. Uh, Mr. Sandeep Narula, please. Thank you, Mr. Gurmeet. Mr. Kishore Dhanani, Vice Chairman, Singapore India Chamber of Commerce and Industry. Uh, my colleague in the Council, Mr. V. Sagar, Vice Chairman. Mr. Gurmeet Singh, Executive Director, ESC. Representatives of the electronic industry of uh, Singapore and India, my fellow members of the Council, friends, ladies and gentlemen. Very good afternoon to all of you. Namaskar. Let me begin with my sincere wishes for bright and prosperous new year to all of you. I also wish that all of us remain safe, happy and healthy during this third wave of pandemic. And I wish that this third wave of pandemic be the last wave of pandemic and we restore our life to the normal, old normal before 2020. On Kasmai note, my pleasure in welcoming all of you to today's session. Uh, that is one of the series of the initiative taken by the council in linking the global companies and forging the new partnerships in the booming sun rising electronic sector that we are seeing developing very fast. And surely Singapore, India, who have got the traditional connections uh, would surely be part of this booming economy and join hands together. I extend special welcome to Mr. Kishore Dayanani, Vice Chairman, Singapore India Chamber of Commerce and Industry. Uh, indeed, glad that uh, you have taken time and joined us for this meeting today. Thank you so much. India and Singapore both share very close bilateral relationship for a long time. Both of the countries have come out from the similar situation and uh, after having the uh, colonial past, both have to <laughs> themselves. And the democratic values that both of us have 
you know, th there are a lot of commonalities, uh, respect to the democracy, respect to the rights. This is something which have been in uh, sync with the thinking, and that is why we have been close uh, allies for a long time. On the economic front also, we have seen that the bilateral relationship <coughs> has been growing uh, since the beginning. Uh, started way back in 1990 in a big way and with a lot of agreements signed between the two countries, especially the uh, economic cooperation agreement signed in 2005, which was further uh, uh, improvised in 2015, having a strategic partnership in 2015 signed. I have seen that the talent requirement from the Indian side in Singapore has almost doubled since then. But I believe that time is changing now uh, with the new technologies that are taking shape. Time has come to evolve the companies from both the sides, forge the partnership, the partnership relationship, especially in the new technologies which are emerging. Uh, if we talk of uh, Indian side, you know, a lot of Indian companies I am seeing today are focused towards the IoT, electronic components and uh, drone technologies. So these are the technologies we would like to work and establish establish our niche IPR. Work together, work as partner, develop together. In fact, manufacturers in India, as our PM also uh, mentioned many times, so make in India sell for the world. So time has come to relook our relationship in such a way that we become the partner in the growth right from the beginning, and that can happen when we start on the right technology platform at this stage where India is aggressively pushing for the availability of infrastructure resources incentive schemes for the new sector. We have got the drone park, we have got the medical park, we have got the IoT labs, IoT parks. Singapore companies also possess a lot of uh, IPRs, assets, strengths. So let's combine those strengths and go to the world market and establish our niche, establish our name, establish the goodwill. This is the uh, vision that we at ESC have been carrying and enabling our companies to reach to the world market in such a way that we take the leadership position right from the beginning. Of course, need not, need not mention that we have a lot of talent, well-trained manpower uh, that can uh, play a very vital role in the growth in the sector right from the beginning. And we at ESC would continue with our, with our efforts to ensure that the Indian electronic industry engage with the rest of the world so that we draw upon the best and also share our own best practices with our partners all over the world. I would not uh, take much of the time. I know that uh, each of the each of the company is probably eyeing for uh, some business to happen. I invite all our friends from Singapore to join hands with our members and share fruits of latest development in the in the various uh, domains which I mentioned. With these words, uh, I once again welcome you all to today's session and convey my best wishes to all the delegates. And look forward for a very fruitful uh, new business deals happening today and onwards. And please let us know if ESC could be of any help, any <coughs> service, or any of the industry member, uh, in case you feel we are always available for uh, the services. With these words, thank you so much. Uh, over to you, Mr. Gurney. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Mr. Chairman. Uh, as you rightly said, our, uh, the, recently our uh, Modi government uh, announced uh, almost US uh, 10 billion incentive plan to attract global semiconductor and display makers uh, at its shows. So I, uh, we are sure that uh, the program will usher in new era in uh, electronics manufacturing uh, by providing a globally competitive incentive package to the companies in semiconductors and display manufacturing as well as design. So, uh, and on more opportunities and enough uh, room, enough scope uh, to further our partnerships in the electronic sector. And uh, I'm sure uh, today's uh, session, uh, thanks to our association with uh, our partners uh, for uh, uh, India Singapore Chamber of Commerce, uh, this will uh, certainly make, make an impact. And the companies uh, 
of both the countries will come forward to take benefits uh, out of this initiative. Uh, taking this forward, uh, I request uh, 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 address by Mr. Kishore Daryani, uh, Vice Chairman, uh, Singapore India Chamber of Commerce and Industry. Uh, a very warm welcome to you, Mr. Kishore, and uh, thank you so much for uh, attending uh, today's session. And uh, we look forward to your address and your thoughts and your insights, you know, how we can uh, collaborate and how we can uh, tap the opportunities uh, by coming together. Over to you. Uh, Kishore Dayani, uh, you need to unmute yourself first. Can you hear me now? Yeah, yeah. Now you, now you can hear me. Yes. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Gurmit Singh. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. First and foremost, on behalf of the board of the Singapore Indian Chamber of Commerce and Industry, allow me to wish one and all a very happy, healthy, and prosperous 2022. May we all continue to grow in a in strength as we adapt and live with the virus in whatever name it gets called each time it emerges. Thank you for the kind introduction, Mr. Gurmit Singh, Ex Executive Director ESC. Thank you also for your invitation and the complimentary tickets and hotel stay to the sh uh, show in Delhi. I, uh, so good afternoon to everyone. Mr. Sandeep Narula, Chairman ESC. Mr. Veer Sagar, Vice Chairman. Sorry? Mr. Gurmit Singh, Executive Director, ESC. The distinguished guests, ladies, gentlemen. I would first and foremost like to convey my appreciation to ESC Singapore, which is Electronics and Computer Software Export Promotion Council, India, a premier Indian industry body responsible for forging international links between Indian and global enterprises from electronics and IT sectors for all collaborating with Singapore Indian Chamber of Commerce and Industry in organizing this virtual B2B session between Singaporean and Indian electronic companies. With the vast and growing market, India offers tremendous opportunities for the electronics industry in Singapore to explore avenues for partnerships with Indian companies to serve the growing needs of consumers here. With this optimal position as a rich and diverse manufacturing hub, coupled with business friendly policies like favorable tax incentives and a well functioning court system, it comes as no surprise that many startups are looking to expand in Singapore. The nation's key position in international trade also allows these budding companies to get easy access to global markets and expand their outreach from here. In fact, Singapore was the India's fifth largest export destination as of 2019-2020, showing the importance of India-Singapore relations. Virtually every key gadget today has parts created in Singapore. You most likely own a piece of Singapore's electronic industry. From Seagate's hard disk drive, Hewlett Packard incorporates print heads to energizes iconic batteries. In fact, your smartphone 4G connection is probably enabled by RF filters made in Singapore. Leaders of all the electronics industries are also designing the future in Singapore. Singapore is also a key node in the global supply chain for products ranging from storage and memory products to macro electromechanical systems, MEMS. At the same time, with a fast developing modern manufacturing ecosystem, there are opportunities for establishing joint ventures with Indian companies to serve the global markets. With this vision, today's B2B session has been organized where India and Singapore companies can explore some mutual synergies to collaborate to serve global markets. The past one and a half years have been trying times for our businesses, but things are improving at both ends. Here in Singapore, the government recently announced that the Singapore economy has had its 
fresh swing in 2021 in years of yearly economic growth. Amid the growth forecast for 2002 remains positive of 3 to 5%. I call on our all on our friends and partners in the industry to renew our strong partnership and work hand in hand to be much stronger and provide as many job op opportunities for people. I wish all the very best and look forward to a very fruitful discussion today. Thank you so much, everybody, and hope we have a very fruitful discussions. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Kishore, uh, for your insightful uh, talk and uh, thoughts. Uh, we are uh, once again convey our thanks uh, for the you know joining us for the today's session and making this uh, session possible. Uh, now, before we move out uh, to the uh, the actual happening session, which is a B two B meetings between Indian and Singapore companies, uh, we have uh, created a back uh, uh, breakout rooms, uh, which is a feature of uh, Webex uh, platform. So we have created uh, rooms for the Singapore companies. Uh, there are 10 rooms have been created and uh, my colleague, uh, Mr. Vikas Gupta will coordinate uh, the pre-assigned B2B meetings. Uh, please, uh, as and when you get a notification from the Webex, please uh, accept the request and move out to the breakout session uh, so that uh, once you are done with the meeting, uh, please stay with us so that we can schedule the next meeting for you. It's already been shared with you. So you will again, once the uh, Singapore side is free, we will uh, send you another request for the another room so that you can join and finish all your meetings which have been scheduled for today. Uh, with this, uh, may I request uh, our Vice Chairman, uh, Mr. Veer Sagar, to kindly propose a hearty vote of thanks uh, for today's session. Over to you, sir. Please unmute yourself. Yeah. Good afternoon, Mr. Kishore. Daryani, Mr. Sandeep Narola, Mr. Gurmeet Singh, the Vice Chairman, Singapore Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Mr. Daryani, Mr. Narola, Chairman ESC, and Mr. Gurmeet Singh, Executive Director ESC, representatives of Electronic Industry of Singapore and India, fellow members of the Council and friends. I have great pleasure in proposing a vote of thanks to all of you. A very, very special thank to Kishore, Vice Chairman, Singapore Indian Chamber of Commerce and Industry, who has put very kindly joined us today. Mr. Daryani, your words were indeed very informative and have given us a fresh perspective for India-Singapore relationships. I'm sure delegates present today must have benefited from your words. Let me thank formally through you and through you, the entire team of your chamber for making this meeting a great success. I'm sure each of you will benefit from meeting the Indian counterparts. I'm told that Mrs. Puja, Mrs. Puja Varma, manager of the chamber, has played a very key role in arranging today's meeting. My sincere thanks to you, Puja, for your very kind efforts. Let me also thank Mr. Sandeep Narula, Chairman ESC, for his dynamic leadership that he has provided to the council. In fact, between him and Mr. Gurmeet Singh, our executive director, ESC has converted the pro a problem into an opportunity. They have led so ably that they have converted the entire COVID pro problem into an opportunity for, its for our members by creating this beautiful <coughs> relationship establishment meetings, arranging for these meetings with various countries so that all our members small and big, can have a chance to meet them. In fact, he's removed size from the equation by allowing even the smallest of our members to meet prospective customers from other side of, of the country. This allows more companies to, to participate. So let me formally thank both you and Sandeep, you and Mr. Gurmeet Singh for this wonderful effort. And most importantly, my thanks are due to the delegates who have joined us today. I convey our best wishes to all and sincerely hope that we establish fruitful business partnerships after today's session. With these words, I formally thank all of you and I end with a very happy, prosperous and healthy 2022 for all of you. Look forward to seeing you again at India Soft. Thank you very much.